Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? 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 You guys see me in a new setup. Don't worry. This is not this is not a thing. I'm just in, not at home right now. Um, but I wanted to come to you guys to record a video of my seven tips for healthy and thick locks. A lot of you guys have been asking about this stuff and was speaking to a lot of you and a lot of my friends too and my support system. I've come to realize that a lot of y'all do not want to see videos from the past. You want something current. So this is a refresh, a redo. 2020 lego um if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have my notes right here because y'all know sis like to go off on a tangent and we can't have that we can't do that we gotta be profesh hun <laughs> profesh so let's get right into tip number one so tip number one of course is the most simplest easiest thing that you can do to achieve thick and healthy locks what is it you ask h2o hello drink it spray it whatever you need to do make sure you consume h2o agua water darling drink it you guys know i always talk about this reference your hair is a plant if you do not take care of a plant, if you do not water it, if you do not give it its nutrients, how do you expect it to grow? Which leads me into tip number two, your diet. You can't be eating a number one, no pickles, no onions, with extra cheese, a side of fries, a Coke extra ice at make of these. <laughs> and all the time and expect your hair to grow it does not work that way <laughs> it does not work that way you are what you eat i realized that later down in my lock journey but it's the truth you are what you eat if you are not bringing in the best things for yourself internally it's gonna go to is gonna go south when it goes to the rest of your body including your hair as well listen you're not just gonna gain weight in the midsection your hair is gonna be dry your hair is gonna be brittle your hair will break off you are what you eat number three do not retwist your hair so much limit the amount of times you retwist now I know there's gonna be a lot of people in your life I have them included who like to speak about how your hair looks when it's not retwisted leave them left them don't worry about them you understand because they ain't your hair they not taking care of your hair they just see you on the outside but internally inside of your locks they screaming they're crying they're begging for mercy mercy you understand let your hair live leave your hair alone you can retwist your hair like when i first started i used to retwist my hair every two weeks i mean that's cool and all you could still do that now but does it really need to be retwisted or you're just doing it for vanity reasons and a lot of people they do it for vanity reasons i would recommend once a month um that's when you are washing your hair some people wash their hair two times um two times a month <clears throat> me i wash my hair once a month because my hair don't get that dirty it really don't be stinking but that leads me to tip number four which is um you don't have to retwist the entire lock what you can if you want to for vanity's sake and you want to retwist your hair every two weeks i would only retwist the root I don't need to retwist the whole thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's not, this is already locked. You get what I'm trying to say? All you need to do is focus on the top because you want to make sure that it merges nicely into the actual lock. But be mindful of how much you retwist it because then it starts to get thin at the top, which then translate into the rest of your, um, your locks somebody just texted me i'm sorry it uh, translates to the rest of your lock 
and you know what I mean let me make sure this is still recording hold on yep we're still in there like swimwear <laughs> um, yeah so that's number four um, is just to uh, retwist the root you don't have to retwist your whole entire lock and go back to three is don't retwist your hair so much it's not necessary um, tip number five is to embrace your frizz listen that's the number one concern I hear about the most when it comes to people with locks you guys are always worried about the frizz the frizz this the frizz that even if you didn't have locks and your hair was like in a big fro fam you would still have frizz frizz just happens frizz comes from breakage frizz comes from your hair growing frizz comes from static around like if it's rubbing on certain items of clothing frizz comes from when you working out frizz happens at the end of the day this is it it is what it is embrace it let it go don't let other people make you feel insecure about your hair because a lot of times is what other people are saying makes you question what's happening on the top of your head that goes back to retwisting it nine times out of ten y'all don't care it's somebody else telling you that yo you look kind of rough like take them go away heck with yourself i don't care like i've had my hair for 17 years about to be 18. you think i care about what somebody's saying about how my hair look no i actually like my hair when it's not retwisted i like i like the frizz i like it because it looks thicker it looks fuller i just i just like it person but it's a personal preference i can't tell you what to do all I can make you do is feel comfortable in the state that you're in right now. Okay? Tip number six is to minimize the products that you are using. Listen, the blessing is, is that a lot of companies now are catering to the lot community. The blessing is there are a lot of small businesses like myself who have hair care dedicated to people with locks the downside in all of that is that you feel as though you need to try out all these products you don't <laughs> you feel like you absolutely do not need to try out all these products it's not necessary find your key five i would say your five go-to gems that you use and sporadically you could throw it in a few there throw it in a few there me i use my products religiously there are two products my cbd uh lavender hair leave-in conditioner and my cbd covet oil yes there's cbd in them now cbd is so good for just mellowing you out it's just, it's just a good thing we will talk more about that soon but those are the two products that I use religiously. I use Dr. Bronner's peppermint shampoo for my hair. And I go back and forth with what I'm using to retwist my hair. But right there, that's four products. Yes, I get sent stuff from other brands. Yes, I like to try other brands. But I use those sporadically. My go-to stuff are my products and the things that I just listed. When you have a consistency with your hair, your hair knows how to react. It does, it's not wilding out because of all the different chemicals and whatever that you're putting in your hair. It, it doesn't know what to do when you have all this stuff going on. When you focus on key stuff for your hair, you thrive, sis. You thrive. Number seven, and last but not least, and it took me six years to figure this out, is to cut down on the styles that you do. You don't always need to style your hair into these tight, crazy styles. Sometimes occasion might happen. If you're a model like my sis Keisha, she gets invited to shows where they have to do her hair for that specific event. But other than that, if you notice, Keisha's hair is usually retwisted straight in curls, two-strand twist, or a braid, a braid out. 
nothing more nothing less because in the beginning you guys used to get all these styles from us but then we realized it's damaging the hair like if you can find it in like a tight curl or a tight design for a very long time it thins out your hair because your hair is now compressing into that tightness not that fullness that you're looking for you don't have to style your hair all the time you can style your hair and you can do those little funky little styles but not consistently there's no reason for it all the time even the top blockheads that you guys follow out there they show you styles and they keep those styles in for a very long time and they go in a very long time in between before they even put in another bomb ass style again you don't see them every month or every two months with a new tight ass no they let their hair breathe from time to time it's okay sis it's trust me it is fine it is fine but those are my seven tips to obtain and acquire <laughs> um thick and healthy locks um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any tips that i left out don't forget to leave them in the comment box below also go to my website www.essenceofshade.com and buy yourself my CV cbd lavender hair leave-in conditioner and my cbd covered oil um I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. The camera is all the way over there. So now I gotta get... Hold on. Hold on, sis. Hold on. I'm just being lazy. Oh, it's 11-11. Let's make a wish. 11-11. Crash course, let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curve, then asking me for intercourse.